KFNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. KFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman on this, uh, what is it, Wednesday, Wednesday the 6th of April, we're looking at this Tiger Financial News Network 10 a.m. market update, Dow's down 250 at 34,389. So what we've done is we've gone to that fourth highest peak, peak D in the Chapman Wave methodology, that's where other things can happen. We saw that back on the 5th of January, it's 36,952. But when we were looking at that rally that started on the 24th of January, that went to 35,824, it failed at a peak C minus. And one of the reasons was that the stochastic just immediately turned down from 80%. And this particular instance, what we've got is that stochastic was flat. That's why it actually went to the peak D, and now it's turned down. It's under 80%. Mac D is about to turn down, but that nine period moving average is still above the 14. We'll see what happens with the Fed today because the Fed speak comes out at about two o'clock, and we're going to hear what. We're going to hear what we know is going to happen. We're going to have to talk about rates going higher. It's the it's the proportionality. It is the timing. It is the um, the uh, the breaking down of just how um, how much less of an influence the um, their their portfolio is going to be when they lighten up. So the S and P went to a peak D at 46.37. Um, that was on the uh, about the 28th or so of March, and now we pull back to the 44. 65 level is down almost 60 points. The QQQs, which had a fantastic day just three days ago, is given more than that back. It's down at 352, uh, down eight. The IWM, which was struggling for the past few days, made that peak D top at the 200 period moving average and is plummeting right now. And what's really important, let's go straight to the TLT. TLT made a lower low today. It's trying to come back. It's down $1.19. At 127.30, so the yields have really skyrocketed. You know, the, I've been saying for a while that the, the bond market has done the work for the Fed already. They just have to formalize it. So we'll see what happens. Crude oil, uh, what did uh, crude oil do? Crude oil is pulling back just a little bit. It's in a range, just as gold is. I'll be back for the Tiger Technician's Hour. And don't forget my webinar coming up for subscribers on the April the 13th at 4 o'clock to 5.30. I'll be back in a moment for the Tiger Fitness Hour. Hope you can stay. Exciting day so far.